Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. Channel, if you will. I'm going to react to, and it's been suggested, K Coke, and it's called Coke Spiracy. Ooh. Let me turn it up. Can oh my god, I forgot how much it sucks to be around everybody. I think I'm gonna be sick all over cow! <laughs> Oh my god. Has he got some boil hat on? <laughs> Tim boil hat. We've been quarantined together for two weeks. You don't want to infect your families, do you? You were all exposed to a student here who was taken to the hospital due to COVID. Yes. Uh, we were there and Token was actually taken to the hospital because you guys shot him. <laughs> yes, due to COVID. If it weren't for COVID, all the previous teachers would have still been here, we wouldn't have been in the class, and nobody would have gotten shot. It was COVID-related. It doesn't make any sense. Mass vaccinations, depopulation, denomination, these fees fall as and save me, this is modern day slavery. They really want to chip and pin my baby, the mark of the beast. Scriptures from the Bible, they follow fake prophets and worship false idols. The rich still profit, the mass is suicidal. The future ain't promised, we fight for survival. ID 2020, Agenda 21. They ain't care, they just out here fooling anyone. We ain't scared, they ain't out here fooling everyone. It's do or die, and I'll be there when that setting come. The sheep still sleep, the rich still eat. The rise of the beast from the Middle oh, East. Oh. Free Palestine, find Madeline. Do your research, the truth ain't advertised. Now oh pedos or the pizza just to have a slice. And they ain't stopped there, they wanna add a side. The truth so clear when you analyze how COVID got the whole world paralyzed. It is not coronavirus. Right, let me pause that quick. Whoa, okay, yeah, he said a lot. He said a lot. I'm gonna try not to say certain words because I don't know if he gets like picked up because you know I've seen a lot of stuff on Instagram where people have their stuff removed if keywords are said and I know people that start to question it sound like they're crazy or like they're conspiracy theorists but it comes to a point where it's like hang on a second when does any of this make sense you can go to certain places like the whole thing where you could go in a group of six but then it doesn't make sense because then you could always be with a different group of six like, there's a lot of stuff that's happened that doesn't make sense. Pubs opened, but then hairdressers couldn't. And it's like, hang on, in one situation there could actually be PPP. Do you get what I mean? In like certain situations where people were losing income, they could have done stuff to protect from a spread or whatever you want to call it. Whereas in a pub, when people get drunk, you think that they're going to listen to restrictions. It's not going to happen. I like we some with the tinfoil cap though, like, I see what he's done there. I don't want to get too into it because it's a very big topic. Everyone was getting tests, but it came out that the tests aren't even accurate. So how are they, how are they making these decisions or numbers when the tests aren't even accurate? It doesn't make sense. It's actually mad, a bit scary. It is domination, it is control, it is dictatorship. People in their homes, feeling all alone Depopulation scriptures written on the Georgia stone Drones in the sky, the all-seeing eye Corona ain't killing, it's just more suicides Covid had a pattern, they knew before it happened They're using it to use us and keep us all trapped in Cashless society, cash just to silence me Control the masses with the cash, that's the irony We really must have lost our mind How can 1% govern 99? Celeb puppets turning a blind eye Mainstream media spreading their white lies Who really knocked the towers down? Who really killed Diana? Epstein and Savile was a royal dilemma Crabs in a barrel drag you down when you get up Everybody sick and fed up Everybody pissed with the setup The media inside terror And we just wanna live life better Birds of a feather, two wings of the same bird Working together I resigned, I quit my work for I just got nauseous by finding out how corrupt the system is. I have studied medicine to help people and 
um, I have always been looking for the best. And um, what I now find out is that I am trained to work for a system that keeps people dependent, dumb and sick. And uh, this is a crime. This is a serious crime. Crime. Pharmaceutical, uh, pharmaceutical, I can't say it, pharmaceutical companies, like, they make a lot of money from people being ill. If people weren't ill, th do you know what I mean? There's a lot of conspiracies out there, but they make sense, they make sense. And, like, that whole thing with Diana, yeah, that is dodgy. Like, I'm sorry, that is dodgy. And it gets to the point, yeah, you just think, how many things do we not know that happen? It's mad. If we had access to that, mad. But like, it actually makes you feel really unsafe and like scared because you just think there is no control. Like from our perspective, like we think we're in control of our own lives. We're not, we're actually not in control. Oh my God. Oh, it freaks me out if I think about it too much. It does freak me out too much. And like, know the whole thing that they said at the beginning with like, I feel like what you're saying about Epstein and that, like, I watched that documentary on Netflix. This is what's scary, yeah? People that are high up, or have money, or combined, they can get away with so much. Well, I need to look at the comments. Have I not looked at the comments yet? Oh, that's the thing I heard about that, that there's, a, like, there's loads of protests going on as well that's gonna be in London. But this is the thing as well, isn't it? That when people start to question it, like, people that believe it just call the other people crazy and conspiracy theorists. But hang on, are we really surprised by some of the stuff that has actually gone on? Like, you only have to look back in history to see the crazy things that you would think was made up because that's how crazy it is. He did such a good job with that. Like, the way that everything he was saying, like, his flow was good, the beat was good. But, like, the way that he said everything, it was like, oh, I, I just, I loved it. I loved it. Scary, it scared me. Like, I'm actually like, where's my tinfoil hat? <sighs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction and I'll see you next time for my next video.